This is a video on how to control model colour in DriveWorks Solo. With SolidWorks open and with your chosen model open, go into the Captured Models section header within DriveWorks Solo and double click on the door jam part of your model which will open it up. Go down to the bottom of the DriveWorks Solo task pane and click on Custom Properties section header. Now you have the option to select some custom properties to associate with your part or you can create a new one. Here I'm going to put a check in the DW colour custom property and click save. Now close this part and repeat this process with any other SolidWorks part you want to drive the colour of. I will now add the DW colour custom property to the top door jam. Open up the project designer by clicking on show project designer button which is located at the top of the DriveWorks Solo task pane. Go down to the model rules task heading, refresh the page and put a check in both of the door jams that the custom property was captured within. This will display all the captured information associated with these parts and you can see that the DW colour has been brought through but the value is currently empty. Go to the Define Tables task heading. This allows us to create a new table that we can create VLOOKUP rules for, which will scan the selected table for a chosen value. Click on Add to create a simple table, and save it as colours, and click on Finish. Copy in the table you want to save from Excel, and paste in your new table. You can see all the colours and values have been brought through from Excel. Click OK to select this table, and see that it has been added to the list of tables in your project. Now go to the Form Designer task heading, and let's create a combo box to choose the frame colour from. Under the property list on the right, click on the Rule Builder button under Items and create a List All function from the Function Wizard. Select the Colours table, and the colours column and click on finish to create the rule. You will see the value of the rule is a list of colours from the table we created earlier. Click on OK to accept the rule. Now create a picture box called frame colour picture and drop it below your combo box. Align it so it's the same width as your frame colour form control and then make the depth deeper. Under the property manager on the right, click on the rule builder button under items and create a rule to display the colour you have chosen in the combo box. This rule should result in the selection of the form control frame colour. This can be done by firstly linking your rule to the location of the colours and replacing the colour name with your frame control within speech marks and ampersands. Select OK to accept the rule. Now I will resize the frame colour picture return to make it the size of the BMP. Also I will want to add more frame controls onto this form. Click on the test button to test the controls are working correctly and spin through some colour choices and watch the colour picture change. Go back to the model rules task header, refresh the component tree and select the DW colour custom properties rule by highlighting them and clicking on build. Within these rules, start a VLOOKUP function and look up the result from the form control frame colour return within the colours table and get the RGB values to be the result of the rule. Click on finish to create the rule and check the RGB value is being brought through to the value result. Click on OK to accept the rule. Close the project designer down and refresh and save the project in DriveWorks Solo command bar. To test we have captured the colours, we can try and drive them by creating a new specification from the DriveWorks Solo command bar. Select a new colour from the list and the form and click on preview to see your colour being generated. DriveWorks now generates a preview of the colour you have selected on the door frame. Select another colour from the form and press preview on the DriveWorks Solo command bar. Watch the colour of the door frame change to your selection.
For more information, click on the help button at any time whilst using DriveWorks Solo, or visit the online help file, which can be found at help.driveworksolo.com.